I have no fucking words. No fucking words. Shut up. Alana McKenzie. Boy, she's my first girlfriend. First, first love. That crow. First everything, right? Just best friend. I've known her for... And I, I love this girl, right? Okay, so, uh... I have never in my entire life endured so much fucking stupid. We were exclusive for three years. We were in an open relationship for a while, which was really weird. A club, you know, dancing with all the girls, and then by major fluke, there's Alana. Hey, how's it going? I'm like, oh, hey, Alana. I'm dancing intimately with these girls. I'm like, she stole the spotlight. This girl's fucking beautiful, right? Fuck these girls. Or don't fuck these girls. I'm gonna go dance with Alana. So I go and you know start intimately dancing and kissing and all that kind of stuff. And she's being all shy. I'm like, what the fuck, shut up. Uh, I'm like, you know, I've never danced with her before. Really, here she is. Let's, let's fucking dance. You know, don't be shy. It's a club. She's weird. I want to get her out of her shell? Like, let's just, you know, I mean, we're like kissing and, but she wanted to get away. It was, it was confusing. So she was like, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends now. I'm like, okay. I was like, we're gonna dance later, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Later never came, you know. Next thing you know, I see her with uh, some fucking asshole. His arm is around her, right? I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? She ditches me to hang out with some random guy. I mean, I know we're in an open relationship, but that's insulting. You shut up. So my feelings were hurt, right? I'm like, I go over there and I'm like, I'm gonna, fuck, fuck you, buddy. I'm gonna get her away from you. She's. I don't, I don't give a fuck. She can fuck other guys away from me. She's like shy, right? I'm trying to get her away from this guy. I'm like, come on, Alana, come on, let's go dance. And you know, I, I, I'm showing this guy, she's mine. You know, I start like kissing her and stuff, and like, and I, th I thought she was being shy. I wanted you shut the damn. Okay, uh, I wanted to get her out of, out of her shell. You know, it's she's not. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? This fucking guy, his arm around is around her. What the fuck? You're gonna betray me for this random fag? Next thing you know, fucking bouncers kick me out. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm fucking go bad shit, fucking insane. Fucking yelling outside, please come and talk to me. I take a taxi, go to her house, fucking climb over the gate, knock on her door. I'm like, what the fuck, fuck, fuck? She's like, uh, I was on a date, and I'm like, He was your date. He wasn't some random guy that was flirting with you. You couldn't have told me this? Oh, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Were we not in an open relationship? Hello? Had she said, I'm actually on a date, I would have been like, okay. The whole thing would have been avoided. Giant misunderstanding. I was drunk, it was noisy, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I thought she was just being shy. I made a complete fool out of myself and she happened to be with her friends and with her date and I'd never met those friends before. I thought she was by herself with this random guy and like everyone else around her were just like strangers or but no she was with her friends. I made a complete fool out of myself in front of everyone and yeah I <laughs> We patched that up. Then I'm like, no, 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 fuck you. Or don't fuck you, because I am sick and tired of this open relationship bullshit. No, I want to be just friends. And she's like, oh, how come you don't want to sleep with me? Am I ugly? Mwah, mwah. We've been friends for so long. We don't have to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Mwah, mwah. And that's all she would talk about. I'm like, let's change the subject. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm like, <sighs> I want it to be just friends. I, it just, the open relationship thing just didn't work. Then eventually I was like, okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, but no more open relationship, just me and you. We're gonna be in a closed relationship again. That's it. She's like, okay, fine, I promise, I promise. I will only sleep with you. I don't even want to kiss other guys. She's like crying like begging and then I'm like okay fine but just me and you that's it so we promised each other to only sleep with each other and that closed our relationship and therefore we became boyfriend and girlfriend without the titles I was happy I was like okay problem solved I had recently moved close to her like a 10 minute walk away oh, no. I hate humans. wait for the human Dog to go. Fucking human.
months. I refused, but she kept bugging me and bugging me, and then I felt bad, and I was like, okay, fine, just you and me. So I believed her. A few days later, guess what? All right, Lana has a tagged account, and so do I. Tagged is a dating site. Lana was like my only friend on Tagged, and I linked my tagged account on my uh, YouTube channel. Then this troll, Sheep man? I guess the troll goes to my channel and hey, what's this? Let's check out this link. Go, oh, it's uh, a dating site called Tagged. It only has one friend. Alana! Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Alana reviewed two games on my channel God of War 2 and Bioshock. Well, the box art for those games. Anyway, she's kind of known on YouTube. The troll's like, let's test Game Dude's girlfriend's loyalty! Starts snacking on her and then screen caps the conversation, sends it to me on Facebook, I'm reading it and I'm in utter fucking disbelief at this fucking shit. Utter disbelief. Okay, the guy is like, beautiful girl like you should have been snatched up a long time ago. And then, you know, guess what, uh, Lana's like, Oh, no, no, then he's like, uh, want to make out sometime this week? Okay. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, baby, want to make out? Okay. utter fucking disbelief gets worse. He's like, wanna make love in my house after coffee this Friday, two days away? She essentially says, okay. Cause you know, that's not dangerous at all. Some random guy, a troll. I mean, like how empty was his profile? Probably only had like one picture. She didn't know? Now maybe she's fucking trolling this guy, you know? What's your phone number? She gives him her phone number. Are you fucking kidding me? And then she's like, uh, let's meet at Starbucks at four o'clock. Okay, shit just got fucking real. How many guys do you meet on a tag? She's like, two? That's a lie. How many guys do you fuck in the last four months? She's like, one. Are you good at giving blowjobs? What the f you? What the fuck? Shut up. What? What the f fuck? Okay, so, uh, yeah, will I be the hottest guy you ever fucked? She's like, probably not. Wow, honesty. How many guys have you fucked that are hotter than I? Uh, maybe two. This girl has no self-value at all whatsoever, and I feel fucking bad for this girl. Cause how sad must you be to be like that, you know? It blows my fucking mind. Then he's like, how many guys gave you an orgasm? She's like, only one. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, that's besides the point. Then he's like, babe, tonight, I'm gonna be giving you multiple orgasms. What do you think about that? She's like, sounds good. It's the most unrealistic, fucked up conversation I have ever fucking seen. Like, what the fuck? It's funny. People don't think it's real. It's like some Saturday Night Live script or something from Mad TV. Like, I want this shit turned into a live action comedy piece. It's just, it's so fucked up, unreal. What the fuck is wrong with this girl that happens to be my first love of four years? I went bat shit fucking insane. Bat. I print that conversation. I go to that Starbucks. Four o'clock, right on time. Guess who I see? Alana McKenzie. Yep. Sitting down, waiting. I waltz right in there. I drop the conversation. I say this ends our friendship. I walk out. I wish that was the end. But no, because I'm a fucking retard consumed by my own emotions. So much confusion, so much hate, so much love. I went bat shit 
fucking insane calling, 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 calling some guy. Okay, the guy she was gonna meet isn't real. He's a fucking troll, trolling her. Like, what the fuck? So he never showed up. Then a real guy picks up the phone. Lana doesn't want to talk to you. I just want to talk to her. Just I'm, I'm her boyfriend. No, you're not. You're just a friend. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna fuck her tonight, buddy. As if that's gonna make me stop calling. They keep hanging up, hanging up. I keep calling, calling. Finally, Alana picks up the phone and I say, you promised me, just you and me. She's like, oh, I only said that because you were bugging me. You know, there's only so much stupid a fucking man can endure before he fucking goes batshit fucking insane. What the mother? You were bugging me. Oh, by refusing to sleep with you, that was bugging you. So, you lied to fuck me. You wanted to sleep with me while continuing to secretly sleep with every other guy on this planet. I can't escape this fucking planet. I want to leave this fucking planet. She did not have my consent because she lied. Had I known the truth, I would not have touched her. So, sexual assault, rape, by deception. <gasps> you shut up. I don't know. What the fuck are they doing, those crows? I don't know. Okay, all, maybe in fucking like Tennessee or California, but hey, I wouldn't. Had I known the truth, I wouldn't have touched her not have my consent, you take that for what it is. Okay. She took advantage of my trust, total betrayal, you guys shut up! <sighs> my best, and this is four year first love, my fucking best friend did this to me, like what the fuck, that fucked me up so much. You, f and cheating on me with a perverted internet stranger. Her first two letters cheated on me. Okay, no loyalty no self-value, like no dignity, no self-respect, no respect for me. The guy was like, any feelings for that guy? Me? No. Lie. Sleeping with anyone at the moment? No. Lie. She wanted everyone to not know that she was sleeping with everyone. She wanted to keep the whole thing secret to herself. She did not have to keep it secret to me. You know why? Because Part of the agreement was that we we're gonna inform each other if we're gonna fuck someone. And I was calling before I saw her, right? I gave her the chance to tell me. Had she sent me a text message, hey Alex, I'm gonna fuck this guy, I would have been like, okay, nothing. All behind my back. Ah, oh, and she's gonna fuck the worst guy in the world. She's gonna fuck every guy in the world because if you're gonna eat the worst apple in the barrel, you're gonna eat all the apples in the barrel. It's logic. And then after I saw the conversation, she still wanted to fuck me because I was like, we can only be just friends. And then she's like, oh, but what, what, what if I want to be more than just friends? So therefore, she was gonna fuck him, then me, then someone else, then me, then someone else, then me, then someone else. Meanwhile, I'm thinking she's loyal, but she's not at all. She could have gotten an STD, given it to me. So because of her lie, she risked my health for her selfish desires. That makes me sick. She has 10,000 profile views. Are you telling me this guy was just like, wanna make out? She was like, okay, you're, you're telling me she never cheated on me before? How could I ever trust her again? How can I trust anyone again? How many guys is she playing games with? I wanted to resolve 
everything because I wanted to understand everything and I guess I thought in order to understand everything I had to resolve everything so I had to bottle fucking Satan then I was just like let's just hang out let's forget about it all I'm sorry for overreacting blah 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 she's like well before that okay so I keep calling the fucking oh not another fucking human police uh, are like yeah I never see Alana again breaks my fucking heart I see her later on and she's like I can't see you for five months Fucking humans. Okay. So, five months. Get her down to one month. Get her down to one week. I made her jealous. I was like, I have a girlfriend now. She's like, oh no, no you don't. Okay, fine, I'll hang out with you. But you have to bring your girlfriend. And I'm like... Okay. Yeah, I'll bring my girlfriend with me. Let's just hang out. Come on. I want to understand everything and I still want to resolve everything why I don't fucking know next week goes by I can't hang out I'm sick are you actually sick or are you just saying that no I'm, I'm actually sick I'm like bullshit she never wants to see me again it's all fucked up I'm fucking bad shit insane I live 10 minute walk away from her house just walk and walk and I walk to de-stress right I'm fucked so much confusion is she sick or did she change her mind about wanting to see me again so, so many questions i'm still bottling fucking satan right and just walking walking fucking nighttime i run into her and i i'm like alana she left me in the dark alana like what is going on just tell me please just tell me what is going on and she's like i'll call you later avoiding me like the fucking play like i'm fucking going fucking insane like what the fuck right she walks away calling calling nothing 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 calling nothing 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 i run into her at night and then again the following morning she thinks i'm stalking her totally so many questions right i thought her friendship was reviving right so i mean i, I try to like I'm like oh shit it's lana what the fuck i'm like okay i'll hide then i was like nah it'll be fucking creepy you know seeing me trying to hide i was like ah oh, Fuck it, I'm just, I just, I'm like, Alana, she never ran, she never vocally or physically informed me to go away, she emoted it, but that was it, I'm walking with her, right, I'm like, asking questions, like, why aren't you talking to me, are we still gonna, like, hang out, like, are you, I mean, she didn't even, she didn't even look sick, right, I'm like, what the fuck, like, and then she's like, oh, I'll call you later, I knew it was bullshit, 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 she's gone forever, she killed me, and then it was as if, she died because I, I knew in my heart she's gone forever. I stepped in front, right? I'm like, stop, let's just talk. She's like, we'll have to go to school. Walks around me and then I fucking break down, man. I hug her, I'm crying. I'm, I say, I love you, I'm sorry. I thought she was gonna hug me back. Oh my God, not another human. No fucking privacy. Come here to escape the fucking world and these fucking humans. Okay, some guy's like, leave her alone. If she loves you, she'll come back. Lost her and understanding everything. And then me, because I'm an idiot, I grabbed the fucking saxophone and yeah, I, all right, okay. The third time wasn't a fluke. I waited like around her house with the saxophone. I was like, I'm gonna fucking play a song for her. Be all romantic. And then she'll talk to me. Maybe she'll cry or something. I don't know. I, I memorized like her favorite song and then I played it out in my head like something in a movie or I don't know. Fuck, I was all fucking, there she is. I play the sax. I, I fucking can't even play it. I'm so nervous. And then she walks away and I'm like, Alana, blah, 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 buy you anything, blah, blah, blah. I grab her hand. Let's just forget about it. Oh, she throws my hand away and then she goes into like purdies and then I'm like, I'm being all embarrassing and just so fucked, right? And then she's like, I'm going to call the police. I grab the phone away from her and then she's like, okay, give me back the phone and then I'll call you today at nine o'clock. And then stupid me, I give her back the phone and then she calls her mom. Then they both start walking away and then she's like, it's over. I never want to see you again. I fucking fall down to the ground. I'm crying, you know? I say, I just want to die. She says then die and then it was like now's the chance to escape so they walk away like no no fuck you or don't fuck you that is fucking heartless no you fucking piece of shit that is fucked up you don't fucking do that That is, oh, fucking people are fucking looking. I don't give a fuck. I 
fucking came here to escape. You make me fucking sick to my fucking stomach. Later on, she sends me an email. Alex, I can't see you anymore. I want to move on. Breaks my fucking heart. Okay, yeah, I overreacted. You're not picking up the phone. You, like, lied to fuck me. <laughs> And then cheated on me with a perverted internet stranger. I'm all, yeah, I was gonna eventually, inevitably, because we live so close to each other, I'm gonna run into you and like, yeah, I fucking exploded. Bottling fucking Satan, you know? I just, I mean, yeah, I, fuck, I shouldn't have kept walking with her, I know. It was all, I went batshit fucking insane. Okay, I'm a fucking human being, all right? Every human being has a breaking point. I fucking cracked. A human can only endure so much fucking bullshit, you know? Saying I assaulted her multiple days in a row, multiple times in a row. I assaulted her when I stepped in front of her and I was like, just stop for a second, please. Let's just talk. Apparently that was assault and then attempted kidnapping. I don't fucking know. Stopping her from moving. And then when I hugged her without her consent, apparently that was assault too. I mean, like, she never pushed me away, never said, let go, she never ran, but she emoted that she wanted to be left alone. I, I should have, but I wasn't thinking clearly. I was enslaved by my own emotions. I thought our friendship was reviving. I was left in the dark. I was so confused. I wasn't thinking rationally. And then she was kind of talking to me, like, oh, I'll call you later. And it was bullshit, totally avoiding me, right? I let go after I realized she wasn't gonna, I thought she was gonna like hug me back, crying or something, but no, she, I didn't know she was heartless. And the thing is, she punched me like what, five times, bit me once, once tried to pull me inside a taxi, can we say assault and attempted kidnapping? And then she was like, oh yeah, I was stalking her too. And then, cause I mean, well, all right, running into her, well, the first two times, yeah, genuine flukes, all right? But then I walked with her and then she was emoting to be left alone, so I should have just walked away. But the thing is, she stalked me worse. And I was just randomly or unexpectedly ignoring her, her phase of my life, I wanted to be left alone. Kate Solano in Vancouver, right? She, she takes the bus to Granville Station, uh, then takes the Sky Train, goes all the way down to Saffron Station, and then coincidentally, what's up with these fucking flukes? Like, yeah, I ran into her twice by her house, night and following morning, giant fluke, then she runs into me in New West. Her plan was to go to my house and see if I was home. Big risk of me not being home or me saying fuck off. So one and a half hour travel, pretty big risk. She wanted answers. And you know, she loved me, right? And Emotions take over, controls you, you know? She's like, oh, hey, I'm like, whoa, I'm carrying a box of video games, right? And I say, leave me alone. I want to be left alone for a while. Just, just leave me alone. And then she didn't listen. She follows me inside the SkyTrain. We go to Columbia Station, we transfer. So she follows me into the second train, go to Gateway Station. And then, so from Vancouver, all the way to Surrey, two cities away. So yeah, walking, following me all over Surrey, right? Till she breaks down crying. You know, overall following time, 40 minutes. And then I feel bad, I stop ignoring her and I'm like, oh, it's okay, blah, 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 blah. And that was that. I don't fucking get it. Like, I live a 10 minute walk away, you know? I mean, like, even if I was looking for her, What's, it's like, what's worse? Three times, 10 minute walk away, or fucking one time, one and a half hours away. And the reason why she stopped stalking me was because I stopped ignoring her. Oh my fucking God. She never stopped ignoring me. What if she lived 10 minute walk away from me in New West? What if I cheated on her with some perverted internet stranger? What if she was in the set of circumstances that she put me in? What if she was bottling emotions 40 times the magnitude? And I'm explaining this to her, right? She doesn't fucking get it. Like when she followed me so far away, I was just unexpectedly ignoring her. It wasn't the same. Like, fuck, the set of circumstances that she put me in, I was... I had to go insane, like what the fuck? Such a thick wall of fucking ignorance, stupid, 
so much fucking impenetrable hate makes me fucking go insane. And her excuses for not cheating? Oh, I just promised because you were bugging me. Why were you going to sleep with them? Because he asked me to. What the fuck? What the fuck? Because he asked you to, you were going to fuck him? But you, and you promised because I was bugging you by refusing. And then later on, she's like, oh, but you don't want to fuck me anyway. But I was going to. We, we promised. Yeah, we didn't go all the way because her mom interrupted us. Yeah, her mom's a fucking psycho. We were going to, we promised each other. We would like haven't really hung out since your mom interrupted us. Calls my mom. I never cheated. We were broken up. We promised each other that closed our relationship. Essentially made us boyfriend and girlfriend without the titles. She doesn't fucking get it. She tells me, I wasn't really going to sleep with them. ask her again in, in real life. She says nothing. And you know, when they fucking say nothing. To this day, she hasn't told me the truth. Just say, I cheated on you. I'm sorry. Barely tried to convince me that she did nothing wrong. She's like, I did nothing wrong. Well, then fucking convince me. I want an apology from you. Or you convince me that you did nothing wrong. But she can't, because her explanation so fucking stupid, dug her in such a deeper hole. Had she said, I was going to tell you later that I was going to fuck him. Like, I don't know, maybe she goes, just before they're going to do it, she's like, just hold on a second, text me, yeah, I'm going to fuck this guy. I would have accepted that. That should have been the first thing she told me, or but I got nothing. I was even calling her. She could have picked up, oh yeah, I'm going to uh, fuck this guy. I, I fucking... I, I would have, it's just, it's the prince, like, I would have been like, okay, it's the principle. And had we been in an open relationship, we don't have a fucking orgy. We're in an open relationship, doesn't matter, but when we're in a fucking closed relationship, it's a different fucking story. But no, you wanted me and everybody else, not just me, not, not just everybody else, me and everyone else. Lying to everyone. I feel bad for this girl. A university graduate, law school student, beautiful. Smart and other aspects. Interesting, fun, funny, what the fuck? It's like a fucking princess fucking rolling around in a pig pen. It's just like, hey, wait, 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 what? Blows my fucking mind. I went batch insane, man. Fucking crazy. I did some stupid shit. I'm sorry. I overreacted. I should not have overreacted. I should have done immediate no contact, but I'm just stupid, inexperienced. First love, first girlfriend, you know? She doesn't fucking under, I'm explaining everything to her. She doesn't fucking get it. And like, she doesn't feel bad, no apology. I was apologizing, why? Why did I want her back? Yeah, I'm sorry for overreacting, but like I, she should have apologized first. I don't know why I wanted her back. I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I was like, no, she's not evil. I, I was in so much fucking disbelief, like no, fuck. She lied to him so she could meet him. She meets him. Yeah, I wasn't really gonna fuck you. I just wanted to meet you. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's what she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, that doesn't make sense because her explanations fucked that up. I forced myself to not believe it. Oh, I should, I should have known better. It's all my fault. I, I'll take all the blame. Handwritten apology letter. Gave it to her in person. Sold all my games. Bought her a diamond ring. She gave it back to me. I tried everything to resolve everything, to understand everything. In order to understand everything, I had to resolve everything. Bottling fucking Satan, pretending I don't care, like I'm happy, I don't give a shit. Maintaining this persona just to resolve everything so I can understand everything. Going fucking insane, man. Oh no, more humans. <laughs> friend Jonathan I'm acting all weird just all the conversation and he's like I don't think we should be friends anymore walks away fuck off Wahid my business partner sell video games with him at the flea market Craigslist and eBay I'm like leave me alone I'm just, just 
I need to be alone right now. So he doesn't ship the games that sold on eBay. I withdrew the PayPal money to invest in more games that I gave to him. Yeah, I owed him money. I was going to pay him back later. So I didn't ship the games. refund the money I took it out already to invest in more games I was like I'll pay you back later just leave me alone oh, I'm running away with my money fucks up eBay fucks up PayPal I never want to see you again fuck him too man